And yeah, I have snacks because I got bandaged today, so I deserve a little treat. Yes, yeah. Feed your, reward yourself with food. A hundred percent. hundred percent do that. That is so f***ing smart that my head's about to explode. Like, Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I want to circle back and see how Glitter and Lasers, otherwise known as Anna O'Brien, is doing. Of course, I have to go to not one, but two, but three platforms to get an update on Miss Anna. But as hopefully you guys are interested, I hope you guys are as interested in this as I am. I find it fascinating. I find it something that I can look forward to potentially in my future. Although, after watching these, I don't know that I actually have lipedema. So, what I think I'm going to do is stop, you know, diagnosing myself and maybe make an appointment for a doctor at some point. Not, not this week, not this month, probably not this year because I got shit to do. Anyways, guys, I want to start off with the infuriating one where she thinks Getting a free bagel or free bagels is sticking it to the haters. I don't know. Let's watch this. I saw part of it and it was a couple days ago, but I want to watch this with you guys. So, of course, she has her shit ass music. So, um, point of view, you're grateful for your haters because they <laughs> relentlessly shamed you about crying over a messed up order. Yeah, you, you know, shame's a thing. You know, shame serves a purpose, guys. I, I, I hate to be blunt like that, and I know a lot of you younger people don't really like that, but that's fucked. That's fucked. You're crying over food? She is, she has her life is so out of proportion, it's not even funny at this point. But let me finish reading this. Um, I'll start from here. Because they relentlessly shamed you about crying over a messed up order. You got free bagels from New York City. Life is good. Karma is better. So I, I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if it's different in New York City, but if somebody fucks up my order, I either get a refund or a free shit. So I don't understand why this is, why this is, uh, you know, karma. I don't know. Let's see if anybody said anything. <laughs> you got free bagels because you made the company look bad on your social media when really it was a simple mistake by people who work very hard for little money and they are in New York fucking city. So yeah. How does Anna have over 2 million subscribers and routinely gets under 100,000 views and likes? Because she's on three platforms. <laughs> Nothing like showing the haters your free bagels after having a meltdown about needing to have a weight loss procedure. So she's crying over her weight loss procedure and now she's crying, crying over bagels. You sure got them this time. This is just embarrassing. You slay, girl, ignoring those haters who say you can't eat yourself to 600 pounds. You got this. I'm confused. Surgical treatment of lipedema includes some form of nutritional discipline, too? Ah, you can just get the fat cut off. We're going to see. We're going to see what she looks like now. And I will say that... Let me just hold my judgment. Let's find one more good one. What a weird world we live in. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't get it either. I feel like we're in bizarro world. I don't know. That's all I have to say. I've typed and erased multiple times. Me too. I get like that when I can't figure out what I want to say. So now we're on to Instagram and um, I want to take a look at what her doctor is saying, although I don't know if I can 
rewind this. So hold on, give me a sec. She has, you know, I would say. Okay, so this is all just her doctor talk, right? talking. Um, it actually gives a lot of insight into what lipedema is. I uh, find it fascinating, actually. But I want you to notice her body. I want, to take, I want you to take special note of the way she looks because we're going to see the after in a few minutes. Between stage three and stage four lipedema, she has oh, more of this. So she's really not a humongous freak of nature stage four. Interesting. But if she would have let this go a little bit longer, she would have been really bad. Triangulated pattern, form a type two pattern, where the predominance is from her knees all the way up to her groin and her hip area, and now secondarily, her calves and ankles are beginning to get involved. So I can feel a lot of fibrosis, and the fibrosis here, this process is beginning to spread down to the forearm. You can feel a lot of the fibrosis in here too. You can even see the veins being a dilate here. The lipidema should be treated first. You want to decongest everything. And this is what's called a pelvic girdle. It really is well defined. This is really where a lot of it, see it's, it's tender when I'm, when I'm, when I'm pressing into it. Oh. Yeah, this is where- She's so, she's so, um, Jesus Christ. I hate Instagram, sorry guys. Where a lot of it really- She's so, look at the face. Oh. Play it up for the cameras. It's, I'm not buying it, hon. I'm just, just, I'm not. I'm just, I'm in reality, okay? I live in this world and I have a real life. Like, yeah, real life. Stems from, in Anne's case, it's, it's crucial that surgery is done on her. Otherwise, it's going to continue to progress and more and more fibrous and more problems with things. Lipidema is a systemic condition. It, it, it's not only just in the fat, it's occurring kind of throughout the body because it's a connective tissue weakness. You've got leaky lymphatics, fragile capillaries, hypermobility, Ehlers-Danlos, which is a connective tissue disease, leaky gut syndrome. In a so I'm going to look that up in a minute. Let's see, because I thought leaky gut was something else. Interesting. Leaky gut syndrome is a proposed digestive condition. Hmm. Wait a second. A proposed digestive condition where the intestinal lining allows bacteria and toxins into the bloodstreams. Symptoms include diarrhea, bloating, and fatigue. There is no standard treatment, but dietary and lifestyle changes may help. Whoa. So I did not know that lipedema can cause leaky gut syndrome. That is fucking terrifying. A lot of patients who are having more fibrosis. Typically, most patients are between two and three surgeries. It's going to be a four surgery plan. I Can I hug you? Have... What? Why? I would. I. I don't think I've ever hugged a doctor. Like, ever. Have you guys? Is that normal? No. It's been. It's been a long journey to get here. Hello. How are you? All right. So now we're on to TikTok. Yeah, so um, bandages, books, and beds. It's a magical combo. Yeah, this is totally her new personality is lipedema. So there is music in here, but she also does talk. So the um, this might sound a little screwed up because I'm going to have to manually take out the music, which sometimes doesn't work. So I might even have to insert my own. We'll see. Hi, my name is Anna. If you're new here, I'm a condition called lipedema. So what I don't understand are what, are those rags under her arms? I, I don't know. I don't get it. Why do you have rags under your arms? Is it because maybe you're sweating and stuff? If that's true, wear a fucking shirt. Like, I, I don't understand what we're looking at here. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone stuff washcloths under their arms? I can't tell, guys. Do you know anything about this? Let me know. Um, ooh, 10 days post-op now, and I just did something kind of major. I did it. And now, I didn't even feel like, oh, that's scary. I just did it. So, now I'm going to my appointment. Wait, wait, wait. What does that have to do with her surgery? If she's off of, or she's completely cleared from her um, anesthesia, 
Driving should be just regular. I don't understand, but okay. This is the most beautiful bathroom I've ever seen. Looks like a converted house. That's interesting. Oh, you the thing I love with this. Shit up. It's out. That ain't the way to live. I don't know what it is. I'm all ready <laughs> for my MLD. I will see you guys on the other side. <laughs> when, when I had my MLD, I wasn't completely naked. Just FYI. This is how you get your legs wrapped. Yeah. Remember what go underneath the actual it's an compression. Art. So when I said I was like padded, I wasn't kidding. Like this is visual padding. I'm surprised. So she's going to talk about a shower soon. So when I was, when I had MLD, they, um, is it, is it two weeks? I don't remember, but I couldn't get my legs wet. It was terrible. Like you had to keep them on for like, I think I can't remember if it was a week or two weeks. And it's funny because every time she unwrapped my legs, she like washed my legs and put lotion on. But boy, those hair got long, but she's like, yeah, it happens. Don't worry about it. So. Um, and I do this every time I come to MLD. You're all bandaged up. And so she looks good. She definitely has less, less of a defined sort of side profile, like. I, I mean, yeah, it's less. I'm home from MLD. I've got my emotional support water and I got, and I'm just going to read. I'm going to let my. So she has the, um, the ropes candy that Alex just bought. I just filmed an Alex reaction. I don't know what you're going to see first at this point, but, um, yeah, I guess that stupid rope candy, which is just pure sugar. I don't care if it's less sugar or what. It has no nutritional value. Um, you know, the meat stick is good, but other than that, I don't know why she bothers with junk. What's just happened to it? The one thing that I'm really grateful I have post-surgery, and I had this before surgery, is an adjustable bed because then I can just put my feet up in the air. Yeah, I will tell you, I will tell you 110%. The adjustable bed's a lifesaver. It is so worth the money, guys. Oh, especially when you have like reflux issues and your legs swell. It's just, just a miracle worker. I got my legs elevated and this is what I'm reading today. It's been on my reading list for like ever. And mm. since I have all the time in the world now, I'm going to read another book. And yeah, I have snacks because I got bandaged today. So I deserve a little treat. Yes. Yeah. Feed your, reward yourself with food, 100%, 100% do that. That is so fucking smart that my head's about to explode. Like, <laughs> you're so Hi, fucking, my Anna. If you're, you're so fucking smug. Oh, giving it, it's like, she might as well do this. It doesn't hurt me to see you fuck your own life, girl. I mean, I'm not even that, like, how can I say this? It's not that I'm not, addicted to her videos but if she were to fall off the face of the earth i think my channel would be just fine so go ahead ruin yourself ruin your life why not i don't care not my life certainly wouldn't do that okay so this is her first shower so you're going to see up close and personal um what her legs look like and i was actually number one quite shocked that they're really not that much smaller at all. I mean, they are, but you'll see. But, and also, I always thought, I thought that I would see like actual cuts. I guess maybe that's another stage when they do reconstructive surgery, but it's weird because I'm not really seeing any loose skin either. Maybe she's still swollen. I don't know. Let's take a look taking my first shower by myself since surgery. When you're wearing compression gear 24 seven, there's a chance you might faint when you take it off. So here I'm just laying down, taking a couple deep breaths and making sure I'm okay before I- Yeah, it kicked the shit out of her to take the compression gear off. Actually, yeah, I kind of feel her pain because it's a bitch and she's not in the best shape in the world. So unless, yeah, you know, round is a shape, oval. Mm. Up in the shower. Now for the worst part. I'm getting Amber Lynn vibes. All, all we need is a sh is a sing, you know, just to prove that she's showers. Oh my God. Why? 
now I'm applying my Arnica. You're going to see that I'm using like... See, look, it's... Hold on. Upwards. Yeah, upward. Yes, upward, because the um, you want to get the lymph nodes, like get the fluid out. But guys, she really didn't really didn't take that much off. I mean, I guess that's why she needs four surgeries. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe if they took 10% of it off, I don't know. What do you think? Striking motions. And that's just good for the lymphatic system. I'm applying ointment to the wounds and I'm putting little band-aids over them. I will tell you, it's hard for me to find my wounds right now because they're healing really well. Now that I get everything prepped, it's time to put on the devil garment. Compression. <laughs> So I'm curious, she should have shown us this. Does she have to wear donning gloves, like D-O-N-N-I-N-G gloves? And then this the little slipper that goes over your foot so you can get the stockings over your foot? Um, that's what I use. But um, I mean, I don't know. I want one of these though. I never had one of these cool things. The coolest thing about it is number one, it gets you from the top up and you see these, see these, uh, ooh, going to the bathroom must suck though, but um, those straps are um, lifesavers because otherwise they roll. <laughs> so I'm tired. No, I breath. that would kick the uh, shit out of me. Sphinx, they have literally nothing on uh, medical grade compression, which no. this is. I have a little Captain Underpants moment because these do not have a part to cover the lady bits because when you come out of surgery, you have to be able to go to the bathroom and you're not able to change. So you just go through the garment. No. No. Oh, so you're going to sit. I don't think I've ever been as grossed out in my life ever. You're going to sit in urine soaked. I, I, I can't. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. I'm fresh and clean. I'm in my bed. And also, I forgot to mention, I stopped leaking so I can actually put my comforter on, which is amazing. And let me show you what I'm going to be doing. What is this? She... Oh, I get it. It's because her compression garments... Oh, it probably does hurt. Oh, all right. Anyway, I am going to be reading straps. this book, which is the latest in a series that I love. Oh, I have not been in the Frida McFadden. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. She's so quick and easy to read and... You know, I don't know. Her books aren't that, her books aren't that realistic. Like there's one about the, um, a YouTube star who kept talking about YouTube show, her YouTube show. No, that's not what we call it. It's vlog. Sorry. Headspace to read until now. So I'm just grateful to be able to do it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hydration. All right. So I so this last one we're going to talk about um we're going to see what Alex says she's Alex ha 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 Anna says she's eating so let's take a peek at this one Hi, my name's Anna. I have a condition Hi, called Data. lipedema and I have a lot of questions about what I eat post surgery. So let's do a You know, it's it's almost like we can get her timeline by the look of her face. So I mean, she obviously picks at her face. I do it too. I have to wear things to sort of stop me from picking. But um, it's like not as bad today. So is this a later one? Probably. But boy, she still looks like fucking hell. You could tell she's been kind of just sleeping all day. Like, shit, that's what she looks like. <laughs> so one of the things they get on you about, like, literally water. right away is hydration. Hmm. So I drink liquid IV, sugar-free. Yeah. Pretty much in every... Yeah, no, 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 that stuff's good. And um, I'm glad it's sugar-free because liquid IV does have a lot of sugar in it otherwise. But um, not only that, you have to drink water to make it to help your lymphatic system push things out. It's like the more you drink, the more you pee, the more fluid that gets out. Bad fluid. Like jug of water I drink. <laughs> we got a stabler tripod now. Uh, this is what I'm having for breakfast. This ratio protein, 25 brands, new brand for me. Never tried it before. I'm also having this Simple Mills almond flour banana bread. This ratio one's actually. Okay, so here we go. What, what's with the packaged, sweetheart? 
Yogurt's good. Why can't you just get plain yogurt? Okay, plain Greek yogurt doesn't have artificial bullshit in it. Why, why couldn't you do that? No sugar, just plain yogurt. Two, why didn't you make yourself fucking eggs? Okay, even forget the yogurt, whatever. You you don't need that bullshit, pretend, healthy, um, but is that banana bread? You don't need that. That's all junk and chemicals. I don't care what, how organic it is. It's junk processed food. You need none of it. I would have been happier for you to look up, um, I don't know, a banana bread, a healthy banana bread recipe, make it yourself. What else are you doing all day? Okay. It's not good to lay down all day either, guys. All right. You've got to walk around periodically or else you're going to get a blood clot. Really freaking good. A little mid-morning snack. I'm having what do you need? What does she need a fucking protein shake for? This is ridiculous. Guys, don't follow her eating. Pizzas for lunch? I'm literally like obsessed with these. What are they? Mm. I'm also having this go-go active. It has electrolytes in it. So that's on top of the water. I'm also drinking at lunch. It has electrolytes. It's healthy. You can name that movie. You're my friend. Afternoon snack. I'm having Catalina Crunch. Uh, the cereals they make, disgusting. But the snack mix, psh, next level. So this is my dinner. It's a huge ass salad. It's got chicken. So somebody. Well, um, I wonder where she got the chicken from, but at least she's, you know, eating something that's not directly from a package. I bet you the chicken was pre-cooked. And hi, Data. He is, is uh, trying to get some. At least Data, I Data, I'm sorry, but Bruni's, Bruni's cuter. Sorry. Maybe it's probably because uh, Data's older. Somebody's trying to get some. In the summer, there is like literally nothing better than a huge ass salad. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Last but not least, I'm eating this pumpkin spice, I guess, like frozen yogurt I made with my Ninja Creamy. Oh, very good. I don't want to hear any comments. Okay. No, no, no. Good. Something she made. Worried about how it's not a summer treat. Pumpkin spice is not for summer. Who cares? Now it is. Mm. Uh, so good. Plus the pumpkin helps you poop, which is like a challenge. After yeah, oh, I'm sure it is. Yay. I'm obviously not eating in a calorie deficit, which you should not do post-surgery you need to heal and it's not the time to focus on losing weight <laughs> well okay yes she has a point but you have a lot of fat on your girl okay and as we saw surgery one it's obvious you still have regular fat and it's funny she says that because when you get weight loss surgery, think about it this way. They take a portion of your stomach. They take most of your stomach, right? So uh, like three quarters of your stomach. And you eat in a calorie deficit and you know what happens. You're just fine. I don't get it. I don't get this logic. It's just she's got some serious fucked up people giving her advice. That's all I can say. Look, I'm not saying she should eat like you do when you have weight loss surgery, which is basically nothing because you can't, because you literally can't. It's not that they say, oh, don't. No, you can't. It's why weight loss surgery works for 99.9999% of people. So I don't know who's telling her this, but it's ridiculous. It's the time to focus on nourishing your body and helping it heal. I agree with that, hon, but you are eating a lot of junk, all right? Please tell us more about those pizzas. There's always such, so many good comments on, like good is in positive and bullshit positive on TikTok. <laughs> Does the extra sodium in the liquid IV make you retain water? I'm drinking it because my surgeon told me to. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah, but usually you need like electrolytes when you can't drink a lot, like after weight loss surgery. Okay, because if you could get in eight ounces of water a day, that's awesome. Okay, so I think I'm done looking at the Deluluville that is TikTok, and I'm getting to understand this site more and why. Alex, Alexandra Rodriguez is so fucked in the head because these people are fucked in the head. 
everything looks so, oh, mm -mm. everything looks amazing and healthy. What are you, stupid? You're stupid, Fly1012. I, I don't know how else to say that, guys. I mean, I don't know. You're an idiot. Processed food, in general, should be used in a pinch. And listen, if she was in a spot where she can't cook, she should have done those, like, pre-order healthy meals. Like, I know they have them. She should not have been eat eating this much junk. That's just what I'm going to say. All right, guys. Um, well, that is a quick update on Glitter and Lasers, Anna O'Brien. I hope you guys are enjoying my looks at this. I'm enjoying it because I want to try to figure out what the hell is going on because to me it's important. Um, and I, I see if you don't like it, I don't get views. So <laughs> it's fine. Whatever it is, you guys tell me. But um, also, I am so close to 5,000 and I couldn't have obviously done it without all of you. And um, it would mean a lot to me to finally push over that amount. Um, but no, I really do appreciate every single view I have and every subscriber. You guys rock. Even the negative comments are awesome. So just, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Argue with me. Agree with me. Whatever it is, I'll try to reply. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!